You guys, it's still Neil's back with another video. As you guys can tell, it's gonna be another Photoshop tutorial video. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing these. Um, I don't know how often I'll be doing these, but I would like to do these just because I got a lot of good feedback from the other one, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. And you guys, a lot of you guys actually enjoyed it. I got a lot of messages saying thank you, Neil, for teaching me something and to keep going on with this this little series that I guess I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to start doing. Uh, so today's lesson is how to make a render. So have you guys ever wondered how, say, say for me example, how I get the certain pictures of characters uh, with no background. I put them in my thumbnails, in my in my avatars, my banners, my um, whatever, my signatures, whatever I do for designing. You guys ever wonder how how I get these how, how I get these pictures of characters, but they don't have a background. And and you try googling it or try finding the image itself, and you can't find it, or you find it. But there's no, but it has a background, and it's like, how how did he take the background out? You know, stuff like that. So I got an example of what I'm talking about here. So you see the, uh, this the, these two characters, and then there's a fiery background. And uh, this anime is, uh, I think it's called Asterisk Wars in English. I don't remember the uh, the uh, Japanese name, but it's a really good anime. And the second season actually just came out yesterday. Uh, so um, let's see. So what I'm talking about is, you know. You, you, let's say you want this character out of this background, right? So basically it'd be this, right? So let's move these to the side. This is the background. This is like the full image and you only want this cut out, this dude cut out, right? That's basically what I'm gonna be showing you guys. Now, of course, there's like slight differences in this and that just cause uh, I just got these two pictures that I had laying around and I really wanted to use this anime. So the whole point of this video is to teach you guys how to cut the background out of a character or, you know, make a render. What a render is, is just a cut a cutout of a picture, and if you want to save it uh, to just be uh, the character and no background, you would save it as a PNG file. And uh, you can save it as a JPEG if you want, but you would have to cut out the background that's, uh, that you saved it onto. So, here, let me, uh, let me just do something real quick. Uh, no, not that one. Alright, so let's have the cutout that I have already here. If I take out the background of the layer zero, if I take that out and save it as a PNG file, it would have no background, right? It would just be a, a render. And if I were to drag this file into another into another uh, into another picture, it would just be this this dude, no background, no nothing. But if I save it as a JPEG, it would give me a white background. And so let me let me show you guys something. So here's one way of how to cut out a background. So if if it has a white background see it's stuck on it the character and the white background are stuck together right so if you want to cut out the background you go here to the magic wand tool you select the magic wand tool and you just click the background but sometimes it's not as simple as that so see if it if the character has a lot of white on it and it like uh inter intersects with the background white it's gonna cut off the white see off the white of the character so that's really the main issue you Sometimes you can just uh, get it in one go. Sometimes you can. Um, sometimes you can just delete the background by itself. So let me see if I can do a different color. Here, there shouldn't be any red. Let me make this red now. Okay, so there shouldn't be any red. And shouldn't. All right, see, so now there's no red on it. And the way you can tell is that there's like a dotted outline, obviously, of where it's going to cut out. So if it's not inside the character, it's not going to cut anything inside. So see. But the, another issue is inside here, you have to cut these out too. And for a lot of people, this is like really strenuous work. They don't really want to do it, stuff like that. But of course, you know, it's going to look different with whatever background you have. So that's what I'm saying. Everything has its own little like details with it. So sometimes you can't cut out the background in one go like this, you know, but sometimes they have complicated backgrounds such as, uh, you know, the beginning one where you can't, you can't, uh, delete it all in one go. So, you know, if I try deleting this one in one go, give me one second. If I try deleting this all in one go, see, it just picks pieces of it and it's not going to delete. See, it's not going to delete anything. So 
the method I'm gonna teach you guys is, is another method um, to do this accurately. So let me let me just because I'm a stickler about this. I just want to ha not have that. Uh, just to have a white background again. Let me make this white again. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So uh, let me show you the method first. Okay, here's another. These are all from the Asterisk Wars characters, all right? So what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do. Is cut out this all this background, this the stuff in the back, this black, white, and blue stuff, so I can just have this uh, this chick here. So the way, let me just show you again. Um, you have to make this that okay. So if you do this with the magic wand tool, see it's it's all weird and it's not gonna cut perfectly, so you can't do that. Um, you can also try and do the quick selection tool that's right next to the uh, the magic wand tool, and uh, potentially just cut this out with uh, just highlight everything, just highlight the character, just highlight everything that's inside the character, the eyes, everything, the mouth, and try not to get the actual background. Don't don't click on on the blue and, and you know, the background, don't click on it. And whenever you think you've got the whole character, everything, there's a little bit of blue here, but that's fine. You can cut that out later. All you have to do is just go to here. Oh wait, no, I, I didn't click this, hold up. I uh, didn't click the eye, there we go. You got to make sure there's no lines in inside the character. So you right click, select inverse, and then cut it out. See, and the, and the, and the whole background's cut out. And then you would do the same thing for this part, uh, but I think I could use the magic wand tool here. Yep. So, and then all you would have to do is kind of like, you know, uh, buff it out a little bit and make it uh, smoother. Cause you know, there's like edge, uh, some little lines here, some black from the background here too so all you would have to do is just buff it out a little bit it's not anything too hard so let's get the background back now the way to do this um, there's two there's a couple of ways but th there's one accurate way and there's one way where you can do it accurately but once you fuck up once you have to redo the whole thing so I'd rather not do that but I'll show you guys just so you, you won't come to me later so here let's go to the uh, polygon lasso tool and then all you do is just click around it and you just like uh, just trace around the image and, and just keep going smoothly as you can and hoping that it looks fine. And then later on you can buffer out anything that you don't want. But the problem with this tool is, yeah you can do this and it'll work, I've done this before too. But say you, you just space out and you double click by accident. You double click by accident and it's gonna make a weird shape that you can't undo. Once you un once you click undo, you have to restart over again. And it, it's a pain in the ass just because you can't go back and fix your mistake. So that's that's the whole thing with the polygon lasso tool. So I'd rather not use that to show you guys. The way that I do most of my renders is you go here, you go to the pen tool. You let's zoom in and start and just start from like the bottom to the top or whatever. It doesn't really matter where you start as long as you come back to it. So go to the pen tool. And all you do, you can even go outside of the picture too. All you do is just trace around the photo that you want to have uh, reserved. So all you do is cut out and just keep going line by line. The more dots you have, the more accurate it's gonna look. If you have less dots, it's gonna look a lot more uh, square, uh, more not 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 perfect. You know, it's gonna look really like uh, with rough edges and everything. So I'm gonna speed this part of the video up and and show you guys, but it's basically just outlining the character or whatever you want to be uh, cut out. All right. So I'll be back with you guys in a few in a few seconds. All right, guys. So we're back. And uh, I'm almost done with it. So once you have the whole outline of the character done, all you got to do is come back to the original dot and click on it, and they all link together. And see, you can see them a lot uh, better now. So all you got to do now is go up here, selection. Uh, let me bring this over. Click OK, and now they're selected. But if you if you cut this out, it's going to cut out the character, right? So all, what you got to do is just uh, select the inverse again. And then it'll cut out everything else but what you outlined. And see, there's still there's still some imperfections here and there, just because it's not going to be perfect. Uh, just because some uh, sometimes you can't see clearly uh, for certain images, sometimes you can. 
But like I said, you can buffer this out uh, just by erasing them or or just uh, making a blur or giving it a uh, small outline of a glow, whatever you guys want. Uh, but it's basically the pen tool uh, to get really accurate uh, renders, to get a good mask. So uh, anything else that you can do, um, you can do this with any type of photo. Like I said, I gave you guys a couple other tips. Um, if they have like a solid color background, you can use the magic wand tool and just get it all in one go. Uh, but sometimes, you know, like I said, uh, backgrounds aren't as simple as that. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's uh, that's kind of about it. Um, don't really know what else to cover, just how to make a render. It's not that hard. It is a little time consuming uh, depending on what you want to do, uh, depending how complicated the character is. Sometimes it is going to take you a couple minutes, but yeah. Um, if you guys want to see any more videos of Photoshop and you guys have something in mind that you want me to cover, comment down below. Remember to hit that like button. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!